let's get started. So let's say I wanted to get data from this uh, fantasy football quarterback rankings page. I'd first load the page up in my browser, and then I'd go to the kimono bookmarklet right here, click it, and kimono toolbar appears on the page so we can get started extracting data. So let's say I want quarterback names. I just click this and Kimono now is suggesting to me two similar elements that it's found. So one class of element here is this um, uh, darker yellow one, this P, which I don't want in this case, so I'll hit X. But I do want these guys, they're the other quarterback names. They're in a different shade, so they were kept. So I click check and I've accepted them. Now let's create a new data type and try something new. So let's say I wanted to select just part of this text that's highlighted, not all of it. In this case, I can just click and drag to form a selection. And now I've got all the home teams. So Kimono is recognizing similar elements. I'll just add them in. Let's say we wanted to get away teams as well. So at Houston, say just want Houston. That's great. Now Kimono has recognized everything that came after an at, thinking that's what you were after. Um, in this case, I want everything regardless of whether it's an at or a versus, so I just need to teach it. So I'll select one more, and it's figured out that's what I wanted. Fantastic. So for completeness, let's go and get the average score. We can click that here, accept in the tier, and we can go right here to check out our data model view um, and name each of our fields.